everyone! I know there's been a lot of first impression videos lately, but we are far from done, so just buckle up because there's gonna be a lot of that next week or so. So for today's video, we're gonna be trying out the Glamlight Burger Palette. This is my first ever Glamlight purchase, and I've heard so many good things about their formulas, and as soon as I saw this palette, I was like, that is so ridiculous that I need it. So <laughs> I'm not even really a burger kind of person. Honestly, I'm way more of a pizza person than a burger person. But the color story in this just made me so intrigued and I, the reason why I'm showing you the package is because I just I want to show you how it came packaged because this is just so cute. So you open the box and it comes in a little thing with like, you know the papers that you get at like in and out or whatever or like the burger places that has those kind of papers in it. So there's a little card here, I will tell you a little bit more about that after, but you take it out and then you just pull it out of the paper here. And this is the palette. And it's actually like a squishy kind of texture. It's so cool. And I just, I'm such a sucker. Honestly, it doesn't even bother me that this is kind of bulky. I don't even really care about bulky packaging. Honestly, as long as it's easy for me to hold up when I'm filming, that's all I care about. So this is what it comes like. And then you flip it over and you can kind of pull it back, which is great. So here is the palette. And I just think that the color story in this is so fun. And some of these names in here are just everything. So <laughs> the best one in here is for sure the Thousand Island. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, you're kidding. Island, that is brilliant. That is just so good. So it comes with a little card here that has $5 on it. This is a gift card. So if any of you want to order anything, the code here is FOODIE5. I'll put it up on the screen as well so you can see it because I'm sure a lot of people are wanting to get this palette or try something from Glamlight. So if you have not ordered from them, here's five dollars off. Whoever is first to use it, go ahead. And it also comes with a little card here with some backstory on this. And I want to read this for you because this really hit home for me. So it says Glamlight Cosmetics founder Giselle Hernandez created this collection as a way to promote self-love and acceptance. After many years of being bullied due to being overweight, she decided to combine her love for food and makeup and stand up to fat shaming and bullying. And I've had my own journey with kind of weight loss and I now have a very f relationship with food and food is something that I struggle with all the time. I've been gaining a lot of weight lately because of my relationship with food after having dieted for so long and losing a lot of weight and my body is all kinds of messed up because of it and so this is something that is like very important to me because I've definitely been on the journey of self-love and just really saying f you to diet culture lately because it is so destructive and damaging and it's so bad for really every part of your mental health and <sighs> diet culture is just it I can't even I'm, I'm just done with it so this is something that I, I just I love the message of this and it's something that I can really resonate with so that makes this palette like so much more special to me because I, I can feel it in my heart that the message of this brand is exactly where I want to be so I'm really excited to try this though because, I mean, it's a burger palette, like it's not so cool. <laughs> so we are going to be swatching this, but today as my first impression I actually want to do a palette bingo style because Aaron in the comments yesterday was like, please don't ever stop doing your palette bingos and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do a palette bingo tomorrow because of you. So that's what we're gonna be doing, but first I do want to swatch this because I want to, you know, feel the shadows and see what they're all about because I've never tried anything from Glamlight before. So I'm just going to swatch this the way I always do, just swatch it by rose on my arm, play over some music, and then we will be right back for some chats about swatches. Okay, wow, so I've had a couple of misses and palettes lately and these swatches are some of the best swatches that I've encountered in a very long time. Both the mattes and the shimmer. Some of the mattes did need a little bit of building up, but I mean that's not really a big deal because as long as they build, that's all that matters. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to bring up my phone and then we're going to go on random.org and I think I'm going to do six shades today instead of five like I usually do in my palette bingos just because I want to try out as many of these as possible. Let's go ahead and generate the first number. And the first number is 9. 
then we have 5, 5 again, so 9 and 5, 13, 7, 8, and 2. So those are going to be our numbers. I'm going to swatch those for you now and then I need to think about what I'm going to do because I have no idea. Alright, so the first shadow that we have is going to be number 2, which is the yellow. And then we have number five, which is ketchup, I think this was. No, tomatoes. <laughs> Next up, we have number seven, which is bacon, because who doesn't like bacon? Not really a fan of a brown, though, but I do like bacon. The next shadow is blue cheese, which I don't really like at all, but I really like the blue here, so I can excuse this being a blue cheese, because this is beautiful. I am excited already. So we have two more numbers. And the next one is number 8, which I probably should have swatched, you know, before number 9, but here we are. And that one was called Cheddar, which I do like me some cheese. Oh, that is such a beautiful gold, oh my god. And then the last shadow is going to be Lettuce, which is number 13. So this color story, though, is just everything. I am so excited right now. So these are the colors that we are working with. So we have... Three mattes and three shimmers. This is perfect. So I'm going to clean off this side of my arm right now and then I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. And then I'm gonna think about what to do and then we can get started. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by taking the yellow and I'm going to put that in my inner corner to start off. And this one is called Mustard, which I don't really like mustard. I know that's a very unpopular opinion. I am much more of a ketchup person myself. I love ketchup. I put ketchup on literally everything. So not really a mustard person, but I will be a mustard fan if this is a good shadow, which seemed to go on pretty good. And I'm also going to pull that all the way up to my brow bone and also just kind of start blending it inwards. So that seemed like a pretty good shadow. Don't have any complaints with this. Next up, I'm going to dip into Tomatoes, which is this kind of watermelon red shade. And this is such a unique color. I don't see a lot of brands making a color like this because it's not really just pink, but it's like a red pink. And it kind of matches my hair, honestly. So I'm going to pack that in my first half of my crease here now. And I'm also kind of blending it into the yellow. Very easy to blend out. And I'm not taking this all the way out, I'm stopping it about two-thirds of the way out and then I'm gonna go in with the brown afterwards. Next one I'm gonna dip into the brown, which I'm so sorry I called that bacon earlier, but bacon is actually the third shade here. Bacon is this shimmer, this one is called caramelized onions, which kind of makes more sense. So we are gonna be using caramelized onions, not bacon, and I do really like caramelized onions too. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to start by packing this in my outer corner now and also just mating it up with that previous shade that I put down. And there's a little bit of kick up in the palette, so just something to keep in mind that these shades are kind of powdery, but in the best way possible, because they are the kind of powdery but very pigmented shades, which is one of my favorite formulas to work with, because I just think that if them being powdery means that they're going to be more pigmented, I am so here for that. So I don't know if I want to pull this in at all. I haven't really thought about this any further than this, like this is all I thought about, so I don't really know what I'm going to do next, but I mean I've used three shades, so it's not going to be that hard to use three more. I think I am going to take this down to my lower lash line just a little bit. So I'm switching to a bit of a smaller brush here, and this is my Morphe E36. And I think I'm going to pull this about halfway in. These shadows are just really easy to work with. I'm just taking a bit of a bigger brush again and just blending out the under edges here. So the next shades that we have left is going to be all of the shimmers and I think how I'm going to do this is going to be pretty predictable. So I'm going to take the kind of bluey duochrome shade and I'm going to put that on the outer part of my lid here. And this is not picking up on my normal brush. I usually use the Morphe M421 so I'm going to have to find a different brush for this. Alright, I'm going to try this with a flat shader brush instead. This seemed to pick up a little bit more. I am going to spray it because it is a little bit crumbly. And I'm going to be placing that on the outer part of my... 
Okay, I don't know where this cut off. I was in the middle of putting on my shadow and I looked up and then my camera had stopped recording. So I guess what I was saying is that I don't like doing cut creases in my first impression videos, but I like to see how the shimmers are going to layer on top of the mattes, if they are going to be opaque enough. And I definitely don't think that you need to do a cut crease with this shade. It seems to cover up pretty nicely in my crease here. You can't really see any of the colors through. Even though I do think that this could be used as a bit of a topper shade as well, but this is just beautiful. It's a little bit crumbly and it's a little bit hard to find the right kind of brush to use it with. So you have to be a little bit careful because it might get like kind of... How do I explain it? Just flaky, I guess, because if you put on too much and you start going in on your eye, you, you'll have like flakes falling down your face, but not really a big deal as long as you know it after, you know, having tried it once so you can prevent it next time. So for the next two shadows, I only have the green and I have the gold left or like the yellow gold. So I'm first going to take the green now and I'm going to put that on the rest of my lid. And then for the rest of my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the gold shade. And the green is definitely a different formula because this picked up beautifully on my brush. I think it's just that kind of duochrome that's a little bit different. So I'm just going to put that now on the first half of my lid. So just meeting it up with the blue and blending these two in together. And for the last shadow, I'm going to go in with Cheddar, which was the yellow, and I'm going to put that on the first half of my lower lash line here. Oh, that is so pretty. Alright, so that is going to be it for shadows. I am going to go in with a little bit more of that brown and just kind of Put a little bit more on the outer corners here and blend it in with the blue. Just make the transitions a bit better. Also just taking a bit more of that down to my lower lash line. Okay, so I am really happy with this. I think this came out really cool. So I need to finish up the rest of my eyes and for my waterline, what do I want to use? I think I'm gonna go with Freak by Irma Decay. This is a very kind of metallic light green. I think that could look kind of cool and it's kind of similar to the green that I have in my inner corner. Just not exactly the same, so I'm gonna pop this in my waterline, I'm going to put on some liner and mascara and I'll be right back. Alright, so this is going to be the completed look. I think this turned out really cool actually, and I will say for my first impression on this palette, I was very surprised, and I was impressed, and not that I wasn't expecting it to be a good palette, but I just had a really good time playing with this, and I guess it's maybe because I've had some misses lately that just hasn't really worked out for me, but I think this palette is beautiful. I think the color story is so much fun. I love that they have so many colorful mattes in this as well as some uh, browns. Not that I really care about the browns, but I know a lot of people do, but a lot of the time when there's a colorful palette with browns in it, most of the shimmers are the ones that are colorful and not the mattes. So I really like this palette. And so far after my first impression, this one has my stamp of approval. So if you've been thinking about maybe trying out Glamlight, I think this is a fun palette. I think it performed really well. I'm excited to play more with it. I don't know when that will happen because said before, I have a lot of things that have come in lately and some things are just going to have to take priority over others. So for me, making more looks with this palette is going to have to wait a little bit, but I will definitely get around to it because this palette inspires me so much and I really want to play with it more. I, like I said, I think the color story is fantastic. I really, really like the packaging on this too. I know a lot of people think this is really annoying, just like with the Alien palette that Jeffree Star came out with. I have nothing to complain about with this. I think it's great. I also think that this would be really good for travel because it's like squishy. It's almost like it's got protection in the packaging. So, you know, I would totally use this while traveling because it also has a really good mirror in it. So yeah, I think that's going to some of my thoughts on this palette. I like it. Thank you so much for watching everybody. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.